I love how the show's starting out. Yeah, yeah. man. It's hey, fantastic. this is this well, is hey, X5, welcome, man. Back to poop, welcome to the show. Yeah. Welcome back to Poop Talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> welcome to Poop Talk. Uh, <laughs> nothing like starting. A lot of people call it the view. <laughs> nothing like oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the X Five Podcast. I'm your host David Lottom. If this is your first time tuning in to us today, make sure you like and subscribe. If you're on YouTube watching right now, please, please, please leave a comment. Uh, we would very much appreciate it. That's and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. You're like you're on the side of a milk yeah. cart. Uh, Jesus, <laughs> act like you're happy to be here. I, I, I'm missing. Um, Please, I'm going to blink twice. <laughs> uh, in studio today, I'm joined by Jeff Allen, my co-host, as well as Cassio Kidd. And uh, Charlie Reese has blessed us with his pe- presence yeah! today. His peasants. His peasants. <laughs> Charlie Reese hanging out with his peasants down here today. And uh, gosh, we're, we're lucky to have this guest today. This is one of, like, t- Charlie's been wanting to get you in the studio for a long time. So, like, I want to. I got a call like an hour ago. So, we had a fall on out. Can you come over? <laughs> Don't, don't, they, don't do that with me, dude. <laughs> Y'all, please welcome Tom Maybe. Tom, hey. Yeah. What's up, buddy? The original guy, the original prank caller from like back before there even was a YouTube. Gosh. Dude, my first viral video was on a cassette tape. It was <laughs> It was, <laughs> it was, it was actually, like two live crew. We it actually like, have yeah. it in studio. It was actually that reel to reel, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> right here. That's how eight tra- That's awesome. Dude, I, I got to start this off. I, I've been telling this story to these guys and showing that video for probably 15 years. Um, my favorite, my favorite one ever, which was, you, there's so many. I love the, I love the thing you done with the homeless guys. You called in, you told them that you were, there were a couple under, undercover and they, detectives, the restaurant right, yeah, yeah. took them food out there. <laughs> but my favorite one was when you checked into a hotel in Washington, DC yeah. during a telemarketer convention. And <laughs> And you started calling these people's rooms, acting like you were from the front desk. Three o'clock in the morning. And the, the CD was called A Wake Up Call for Telemarketers. My daughter, my daughter had colic. Oh, she's in college now. But, the, uh, but back in the day, she had colic. And every time I'd get her to sleep, you know, they, they'd call and wake her up. And I'm like, geez, Louise. And I, my mom had dementia, so I couldn't. People like, just take the phone off the hook. Well, no, I got to be available for family, you know. And yeah. and it hit me. I'm like, I'm going there. And I got, took my buddy. We went up there, and we checked into the same hotel. And trying to, like, call him 3 o'clock in the morning. Trying to, I call this one, tell him. I'm like, hey, this is Tom down the front desk. It's hard to bother you so late. Our computer crashed. Was your wake-up call for 8 or 8.30? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, call you, we'll call you here in a few hours. We'll get back up here. Yeah. Like I said, our computer crashed, man. I'm so sorry. Don't want to so, miss it. Yeah, sir, 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 calm down. Calm down. He's cussing. I'm like, hold on, hold on. So, look, I, know, I hear you. And I'm hold, the manager's right here. Let me talk to him. One second. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, man, he's really upset. He says he can't get back to sleep. And he thinks we should make a right for him. Him. I can do that. Cool. So you're there. I talked to the manager. I told him concerns about getting back to sleep, and we usually don't do this, but here you go. <clears throat> Rock <Rock-a-bye, man. laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, don't fight it. Put your head back on the pillow. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, Take these broken wings. <laughs> and then, dude, I kid you not. I swear. Dude, Ten minutes later, the real hotel manager calls me. He's like, dude, we know who you are. Quit making the crank phone calls. We're going to kick you out of the hotel. But I was like, oh, God. So finally, finally like 5 a.m., I finally, I'm falling asleep. I'm like, and I'm awakened by these alarms going off. I'm in a Hyatt and uh, Hilton, and Hilton and, and all these alarms going off. I'm like, what's that right? I look I look at the hotel. There's like a video store or something across the street getting robbed. Oh, and I'm watching all this unfold. There's law enforcement inside the store walking up down the aisles trying to find a burglar. I get the yellow pages out. I find the number to the video store. And at the time, I was drinking. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was pretty, <laughs> we already knew that. You didn't yeah, have to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My check liver light had done come on about this point. And I, and I call, and I, I I get the number, to, and I call it up, and I see this police officer pick up the phone. I'm like, dude. Get out of there. Cops are everywhere. <laughs> and like, and like meet me out back. Like, He's out back. Right, right. So, so, so that, was a, that was a good trip. That was a, that was a, that was a fun CD. How did do. you record it back then? Like just- I, had, I took my, at the time, it was a little black uh, radio shack. You run the phone, the phone 
receiver, the cable, the, you yeah. know, the swirly cable on the one yeah. side, and the other side you ran into the wall. So you, it was just like a like you were like a fuzz box or something, you know, a, a pedal. Yeah, you yeah. put it between the receiver. This is back when you you could unplug stuff or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole album I did, I you know, I've been trying to get a record deal. I started out as a, a jingle writer and a singer songwriter, and not a very good singer, but I was going to be a you know going down to Bluebird and all that stuff, Douglas Corner and our Nashville, and I finally get a call to say, hey, Scott Hendricks wants to meet with you. And uh, Scott was, you know, a uh, time with uh, it was Capital, you know, uh, you know, Trace Atkins and uh, yeah. Blake Shelton's a big guy, and uh, and I, I thought he heard me at the Bluebird saying, I thought he heard my song. <laughs> I, was, uh, I thought he heard Tractor Factor. It's back when I was writing all the Bubba songs, all yeah. like the the hooks and everything. Yeah. Or I went insane, but I came out crazy. You know, I was, I, and I and I'm like getting there, I'm sitting there, and I was like, hey man. What, we, we love your stuff. Oh, thanks. That was great. And he said, what made you think to record the telemarketer? It's like, finally, I had, I had a closet. <laughs> I had a two-inch Otari tape machine in my closet. And I had more money in my bedroom in this little home studio than I did in the house itself. <laughs> and I get a record deal, a six record on Virgin Records on, an answer, on a $37 answer machine of me messing with telemarketers. Because <laughs> at the time they recorded, there's a little memo button. You just hit the memo button and recorded the call. Yeah. And I, if you hear, if you listen to the call, I'll go, oh, hold on, that thing picks up on two, and I, and I hit that button that, that starts the recording or whatever. So, <laughs> so you, a, they wow. didn't have, like they got a finished product when they when they sign you to something like that. It's they it don't was, have to go they, in and, and produce they, anything. No, no, it was done. I tell you what, Dude. nowadays the less you put into a a video or the more you get out of it. And at the time, I'm like, it's really crappy. But we had to get it mastered. It definitely. Uh, it was bittersweet because all this time, you know, I was a uh, I was gonna be a musician, a professional, and I still ended up being a you know session player and did all that. And I, and uh, when I got my TV show, maybe in America on CMT, I was telling uh, Terry on the way in, I said I was more excited about being able to do music for the show than I yeah. was yeah, to sure. being the star of the show. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you can say star and CMT in the same line, but the same sentence. <laughs> well, but, sure. well, the, yeah. the show was, the show was named after you, so maybe I believe in America, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But uh, but yeah, man, it's a Life, life, life is funny. How, how I mean, because and then I started doing. I got dropped. I was like, when Virgin shut down, when they clo- you know my clothes. I had to go to Capitol. I got dropped because I didn't wasn't doing enough stand up. I'm like, I don't, I don't have to. So I, I became a. You, are you doing stand up now here? Yeah, yeah. 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 I wish someone told me don't judge because you got to suck, man. I sucked for six years. I did the same. I know I'm going to suck me. for four sucks. more. Well, you, you, <laughs> have, you have just you don't you just can't judge. You just can't judge, and you got to. And someone I would call every Thursday night. I'd be in a town, be in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Call me, oh, they hated me. I suck. I suck. And the club owner won't even look me in the eye. You know, and the oh, next yeah. the next night I come and I, I crush it. You know, now I'm bulletproof. You could parachute me in anywhere. I'd be okay. It's right. a ride like I this mean, constantly. Oh, man, but you just, I'll shut up. I'm all jacked up on Theraflu, so. No, you can. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, God, what the heck is that toilet? That, you got that toilet with the built-in but water fountain over you there? You got your butthole pressure oh, washed over there. Oh, God. I got, I didn't know how, I've never used one. <laughs> yeah. that, you you, you call me. You see, come over. Ah, come over a little bit. Was that you who called me? Yeah. No, I was, was under, Terry. Terry, I yeah. was under toilet when you called, and I'm trying to stay and squirting water on me, and and uh, I'm YouTubing it, trying to figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> now, there's a remote in case you find you. you, you oh, yeah, I've got yeah, two yeah. of them. Treat yourself. Good. I'm getting one now. Yeah. But I, there's a remote. <laughs> there's a remote. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, I guess my hands are clean enough to pick up the remote. And uh, anyhow, yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> Tom, I've been on this whisper campaign for years about get a bidet. I'm telling you, guys, look at it like it's something sexual. Dude, like, it you, was. Out of your mind. It I've was. never. It, I, it made me feel funny. I'm telling yeah. you right now. I, I had. I went through the change. Made me feel funny. <laughs> it really did. Just, I've never. You know, I thought it would be cold. No, I it's warm. Know, it's you can warm. get them heated, yeah. And when I was researching it while I was sitting there, you, you could spend a hundred to twenty thousand dollars on a daggone toilet. Yeah. And I know Charlie, that's a really nice toilet. It I is. Can tell, yeah. <laughs> you got one on the way to your house now? Do you order it while you're sitting yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, did you did you figure out that it's got a heated seat? Oh when my you sit down? god. It was it was heated right. when I sat down. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. It has a blow dryer. That yeah. was for me. It had I had the rear. Sat down. I was afraid. <laughs> I was afraid to use the front. It had a it said front on the remote. That's for the ladies. That's the washer balls off oh okay okay no, yeah man, i did the, that is that must be I, yeah i didn't know about that that was that one so guys that's not for guys that's the, yeah, that's, no wonder he took an hour to get over here by the way yeah, was, uh, spraying uh, every dude, that was, I, I, I wouldn't lie it's on my own it's on my only fan page right it's now really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah man oh, but days so are where it's at man america's late to the party on that stuff and i discovered them right before the pandemic and ordered one and got one in uh-huh. and when there was all that toilet paper shortage 
Oh, I was like, man, dude. it ain't affecting me none, man. It blows your ass dry and everything. It's really, I, you know, and I, I mean, it, <laughs> man, we could go on deep. I, I, gotta, I mean, talk about it, dude. dude America needs a, to know. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the wrong side of fifty, and that's the first time I've ever. <laughs> the first, I felt, I felt deprived. I was like, where have I been? And my, my buddy, I was telling Terry too, because I saw that. I said, oh, what is that? Is that a, that's a bidet, and he was showing me around the the compound over there, and. uh and I was telling my buddy, he he works with these nurses that come from Asia. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. Yeah. And, yeah, and they, they're like traveling nurses. They come over here and meet with their family. The first thing they say is like, take us to Home Depot. They want to, or, or Lowe's or somewhere. The first thing, the first thing they want is not groceries, not not their driver. They want a bidet. Yeah. They, oh, that's yeah. their, their, that's the part. Like, they're like, how in the heck do you live without a bidet, you yeah. know? I don't put it in my house and stuff, too. My my new house we just, we just moved into. It's just a... Uh, once you, that sounds like a shack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, trust me, it is. It's a real dive. Yeah. <laughs> once you once you try one, and uh, man, the dude, there's no turning back. It's hard to get people over fifty to try it. It really is. So I like, didn't know if it was going to, you know, I didn't know if it was going to be cold. You were looking for cameras. You're like, wait a minute, this is I a, did this the is whole a time. I thought there might have been. I mean, there is, but yeah. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was it's in the blow dryers. <laughs> Cassio said there was, yeah, there, there, there's a camera. There's a hidden camera. There's yeah. a GoPro in the That's our day. prank show. This one, yeah, 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 we're pranksters too. That's y'all that's y'all got all these celebrities place. coming here. You should have like Bidet of the Famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We you make them look, guess the butthole. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the old Rusty Sheriff's badge and see if you can name it. Is this Tom Mabe or Jim Brewer, you tell uh, us. <laughs> Comment below. That's right. The winner gets a free autograph up picture of Jim Brewer. The one over there, though, that Charlie put in is like you said, it's fancy. The lid comes up and down. Like it does like, I, I call. I, I gave a nickname R two D two. It's got a <laughs> nightlight in it too. Like it yeah. senses if it's dark. You're yeah. kidding me. Yeah. And when you walk up to it, it raises and a light comes on inside. A little blue like, light. So you got hey, it. it's all they had left at Home Depot. Yeah. It's, all, it's, all, I don't, it's I, the only one they had left. That, that's called the bidet mate. And yeah. that's one yeah. of the nicer ones. That's, yeah. that's flagship of bidets, dude. I always <laughs> want to say it. Yeah. 5.4 Triton engine in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always want to say it with an Australian accent. Bidet mate. You know, uh, like, bidet, 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 mate. Bidet, like yeah. a day, mate. I can't yeah. get my father in law to, to, to use it. Really? Was he, he scared? To, he, he drops a deuce in my house all the time. He will not use <laughs> he it. Drops and he's like, he's he's like, no, I'm a I'm a good Christian man. I'm not getting on that thing and using that thing. I was like, what he acts like it's a well, sex week. Then he don't want to go to heaven because yeah. that's what it feels like. <laughs> that's that's what it feels like. I'm 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 like, Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was like it like it was like had like precise aiming too. Yeah. Well, you sometimes have to wait. It was your like I'm like wow, man. I'm like this. <laughs> I, I'm not hating this. And it's warm water too. It's warm. That's what I was. I'm like because I reached. I was trying to flush it, and there's a knob to the right of it, right? Yeah. And I went down. I said, "What's well, I start twisting it. Next thing, I'm getting squirt. And that's that's. Uh, I'm like I couldn't make it stop. <laughs> that first time it touches you, you go. Oh, I kind of like that. God, it was like. <laughs> yeah. Just, it was definitely like a, a fleet enema. It just was use the remote from here on. Yeah, down, the remote. Know? Remote, okay, front. yeah, so yeah, yeah. Flush and wash and dry and. All but the stuff. front is for the okay. The front's for the girls. Yeah, front's that was for the girls. that's if you haven't if you haven't never used a bidet at home, treat yourself. I mean, that was wowza. You know I'll, what? I'm going to send you a bidet. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, you know bidet, what? Mate. Look, look under your chair. Everybody's <laughs> getting a bidet. <laughs> you, you get, get a bidet. bidet. Yes. And you, you get, get a bidet. bidet. <laughs> and you get a bidet. <laughs> I'm going to send you a bidet. Oh, jeez. Now don't try to say I tried to save time one time and I just turned it on while. I started back up. Oh, yeah. You, you oh, it hoses it down, don't yeah, it? Nah, that was a real shit yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't over there, I hope. Oh, no. <laughs> now, this is a David's. Do you have a squatty potty at your house, too? No, what's a squatty potty? That's oh, where you put your, like, like little engines, like Native Americans? Well, no, it's how you're supposed <laughs> to. You can't say, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Remember when we were kids, we used to play like, Cowboys and Native Americans? <laughs> Eric, I need you to flip that out. Yeah, for a highlight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a, like a little stool you stand on, and it makes your body, or the way you're supposed to crap ergonomically. I love, crap. I love how the show's starting out. Yeah, yeah. man. It's hey, fantastic. this is, this well, is hey, X5, welcome, welcome, well, welcome to the show. Yeah. Welcome back to Poop Talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> welcome to Poop Talk. Uh, <laughs> nothing like starting A lot of people this, call it The View. Nothing like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> nothing like starting the show with a little doo-doo talk. Oh, oh my uh, God. Speaking of doo-doo, I like your shirt, man. Thank That's you. Cool. <laughs> 
Yeah. He told us he got it at Spencer's. Did I it did. come with like it's a, a free grown bag. man shopping for clothes at Spencer's? Did it come uh, with some lip gloss and some yeah. uh, Clinique or anything? Okay. And, and, a pur- and, a and a purse and a purse and a whoopee cushion. Uh, yeah, a whoopee cushion. What about? Uh, okay. Are there still Spencer's and and like? Uh, oh yeah, we got one. Yeah, they're yeah. everywhere, man. Wow. Well, yeah. We got one. We got a Spencer on a hot topic. I think. Is yeah, the, hot yeah. topic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah that's old Spencer's, all, man. That that was, you know, growing up in the 80s when you was a kid, that was the place to go. Well, they used to, yeah. have, catalog, like, used to have a catalog. Remember they used to have a little catalog they sent out at Christmas time that had all that stuff? No, no I, I don't remember. I that's green. You're thinking Green Stamps. Yeah, or, or was something. Was it Green Stamp? Well, no, they, yeah, I remember that, too. My parents had the Green Stamp, but they used to no, make a little- Finger Hut or some shit. No, I'm talking about Spencer. Spencer's. Spencer's had a little catalog. Seen that. Yeah, I, I never saw that. I think you just made that up. No, I didn't. You're thinking Johnson Smith Johnson Smith catalog? Remember the Not Amway, not Johnson Smith. It was a little Spencer's catalog. They used to make. Them. I, hey, just I let Jeff die on this hill, okay? Yeah. Just let him die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you got below, the Spencer you catalog, just, comment yeah. below. Yeah. yeah, if you think and this will be the least, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> Either way, put Look, the poop emoji and the water his, emoji. He's got his like, phone. He's googling. Out. He's, he's googling. Dude, out. I remember when I was young, my my parents had. I, I found a pair of edible undies. Was that ever like a, a big thing? Or was that a novel? You found yeah. your parents edibles undies? Edible undies under their bed in like a box. I remember oh, I, was trying, I was trying to find Christmas Della. presents one year. Della, look at me. What was that? What was up with that? Were they eating? Uh, no, they were still there. <laughs> there was like a half, half, <laughs> like one leg left. Hey, right there. <laughs> look, one taste. Right there. Spencer's Gifts. Yeah, we moved on an hour ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, Spencer's Gifts catalog. Hey, I know something's going like, I'm going about like a week from now, I'm going to be in the room and call home and I goes, hey man, this Charlie Reese sent you a, uh, some edible underwear? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to have been up a day. It's yeah. gonna be, yeah. Jeff yeah. Allen's going to send you a damn catalog for Spencer's Gifts. Have y'all heard of uh, edible undies before? Sure. Or is that something sure. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if it was ever a thing. I just saw I it. don't know if people actually... There was that. There was all... Boy, Spencer had all that stuff, right? They yeah. still right. do. Yeah. They still still uh, do. Yeah, exactly. He said, I got the catalog at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do y'all want? I'll send it to the house. I sent them all day, mate, and flipped through the Spencer catalog. Still have them. <laughs> Poor old Jeff. We're so, just so, like we're he's like, I got all hey, of 1998. It's a good year. I, got, I tell you, y'all can all go fuck yourselves. That's what y'all can all go do. <laughs> oh, you calm down over there, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet tits. <laughs> but, uh, calm down. <laughs> so you guys are all in a band together. Yeah, this is your we band. We should have been. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. So David. Is a drummer. Me. Terry. Terry. Guitar, the guy back there, and then there's two other guys. That, that like Cassio doesn't play keyboards in the band. Or he's like a he well, plays, he he's plays a full mouth, time stand up comic. Mouth, hey, mouth my, heart. Cassio, ca- oh, you're full time stand up. Where's my kazoo? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's good. Uh, I play the kazoo. And Jeff, what do you do? I play bass, but I play in a different band. Got I yeah. played in a band with him for four years. Okay. Yeah, yeah the cover band. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, different band. What do you? What all instruments do you play? Now, as an ugly kid, I, I uh, my main is drums. <laughs> Why'd you preface it with that? Because I, I had no friends. I just practiced. I was weird. I had Tourette's. I, I got, no, you, I, you are a comedic <laughs> genius. No, I tell, I tell you, no, I could you not? I, I would. You know how I found out I had. A, you know, how, you know how I finally found out I had Tourette's. I don't no lie. I went to an auction. And I, I was like, like, I kept them buying shit. <laughs> True story. Like, who's a, who just gave $9,000 for this Pinto? <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> what the guy that can't quit bleeding. My, <laughs> and my, my, my son, oh, he was, he is, a, he's on the autism spectrum, but he's funny, but he's a, he's a Asperger's, and sometimes I don't know if it's Asperger's or asshole, but he, he, <laughs> but he, he has Capriolia. If you don't anybody with Tourette's, he screams, he blurts out. He oh, blurts, he's vocal. He's a vocal Correct. tick, yeah. yeah. And we were at the doctor's office, and he has like, like if he's in a, if he's in a synagogue, he's going to go Hitler. I mean, I'm telling you, he, <laughs> the most inappropriate thing. That's why Tourette. And he, he will. We went to. He had, he had spine surgery. Not taking for a follow up. I take him for his follow up. <laughs> got me. I got got you. Got you. This is a this is a real story. I know, but that <laughs> this is me. a real Barbie. disease. Will you, quit? will you quit? Yeah. If you guys, anybody Tourette's out there, you make that Jeff. Give me hate mail. Yeah. <laughs> Any my, my kid, we're at the doctor, dude. We're at the doctor's office. I'm taking my kid, Josh, and I, we get there. I'm like, dude, look around. The black to white ratio is not in our favor. Oh. I said, look, we can go down oh, to the truck. Boy. We can have them. We can have them just t- call us or text us when it's our turn. Is I'll be okay, Dad. And we're sitting in a room about like this, and we're the only two white people. And, and I'm like, and when I'm in that situation, I'm the. I got to address it. Right. We have little before we it got, starts. You got. We, we got little business cards. Even I went. I'm like, hey guys, uh, 
I'm sorry, my name's Tom. This is my son, Josh, and uh, he's a racist. And I'm cool. I work with the guy who had a black neighbor, so I'm cool. <laughs> I work with the guy. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but man, I I see that coming. It's and so I'm, I'm, but I'm sitting. He's sitting there, uh, David. He's sitting right this close to me, but like right across. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, he's like, what are you laughing at, Dad? I said, you look like you're on a first date trying to hold in a fart because any minute. And I'm looking at the door. I mean, I'm not ready to make it. I can make him. I'm faster than he is. Uh, but but you, I'm so afraid that you know that he does that. My and my wife takes him to a Kevin Hart concert, and I and and they didn't even see the show. They yeah. said we had to leave. I said, why the hell would you even? You know this kid. That's that's his big tick. Yeah. You got 90 percent African Americans in there. He's going to drop the end bomb or whatever. <laughs> And he did. He did. And, and he, said, said, he did. Did you run out of cars in no, the no, arena? No, but you know, no, no, that's that's no, cars. no. That's funny. He's that's funny. Rain. He's making it rain. Like yeah. He's making it rain. Oh, God. Give them to the ushers. And but, go down he, now. He's the thing about the third deck. The thing, down about, down to the, the thing about Asperger's, you know, you, 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 you don't know... It's it's not it's hard to tell is this guy is something wrong with him or whatever. Well, so many people yeah. use bullshit like autism and Aspergers yeah. as a crutch for them being an asshole. But look look at look at look at Cassio. <laughs> I mean, he's full blown. You know him and his dog. <laughs> look at his dog's eyes. You can tell he, he, he's full blown. But Josh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you're a permanent host of the show. Nah, dude. You're yeah, in. Just yeah. make yourself at home. <laughs> Everybody else that comes is I a guest. I Ford over here next door. What a yeah. great, <laughs> what a great compound that it's been is. An hour. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard is that, like is that, for seven hours. Is that just for your guest, or is that yeah, just no, for you, man? For guests, he yeah. built it yesterday for you. Boy, <laughs> so Tom's out. coming in early. Did you try out the hot tub? Over there? Not yet. Not yet. He probably didn't even see it. You saw there's. Oh, I saw. I saw everything, man. You do those test strips. You do the test strips in a hot tub. Yeah. Like, oh, oh. Oh, we're low on pH, and someone's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> There's two lines. What does that mean? It's on tubs. Yeah, yeah. You, you see, you see, you see what I'm talking second, about. Guys, we yeah. got <laughs> you see what I'm talking about now, yeah. like. There's no script. We just yeah. go off the rails. Yeah. You know what I mean? Organized chaos. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, it's great. Uh, can we go to a commercial break? Is there a commercial break? We can you, got, you got smoke? You got smoke? No, I'm just about to shit myself. I'm <laughs> having, hey, go, you, go, go to the compound. <laughs> <laughs> compound. Yeah, he, hey, you notice he doesn't put one in here for us at the at the yeah. Yuxle studio. Oh, it's for the well, guests. I'm telling you what, your butt will thank you. Uh, it feels shit. like you're camping when you don't use one now. You'll go back home and you'll feel like you're Oh, no, I, I can't imagine. I got to take a shower now. I'm spoiled. Every time I poop, I when they hop in the shower. You're camping. <laughs> is that remote? Is that dishwasher safe? I worry about the germs. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> what, hey, Tom, what is your biggest social media platform where you get the most traction? Right now, because I'm kind of an algorithm jail, I uh, used to be, it used to be Face, it used to be YouTube. YouTube, you know, I could get, you know, I could do really well, and uh, yeah. but now it's now it's a uh, Facebook, Maven America, and Tom Abe Comedy. Yeah, and I figured out there's they call shadow. If you ever if you were on social yeah. and shadow band, shadow band, shadow band, yeah. And my friend said, you know, if you go or, or solve it, it's, if you go, you can look and see if there's any strikes. And sure enough, there was a strike about four or five years ago. I used to make really decent money on YouTube, and all of a sudden, I was making a hundred bucks, you know, a, a month, you know. And uh, and I look. It says they pulled this video. Remember the ice bucket challenge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be funny. I did a spoof called the bowling hot water challenge. <laughs> and, I, and I had and I, and I put and man, God, I never. Un, and, oh God. and I put I took it out there. I said, all right, we're going. Oh, safety first. I put oven mittens on. I didn't want to burn my hands. And I poured over my head. Ah! I'm screaming, and, uh, and I, ch I challenge Kim Kardashian and Kim Jong Un, and they pulled it down. And apparently, I think some they said a kid or something, but they didn't. They didn't take my. They didn't take my channel away, but they took my earnings away. Wow. Yeah. But I took this incentive last week. The whole week, channel's earnings away, or just that? The whole, my whole my my whole channel. Wow. Because, uh, this is the yeah. platform. The yeah, boiling. Yeah. Hot I got the wall. Oh, and I, I just who in the hell would think that was serious? Oh God, it's robots doing it for the most part. They, yeah. If you yeah, know yeah. somebody at YouTube, you can get that shit lifted. <laughs> yeah, the mm. the uh, the. Uh, 
But yeah, so uh, I got it back. They, I had to take a sensitivity course. It took about 15 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, oh, through YouTube? Through YouTube. And they said, August 17th, I will have full access and monetization. You'll be out of jail. Which is good. Because Not- I got mon- I said white. Tr- can I say white trash? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. That's, 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 hate, that's hate speech. That's hate speech. Really? I got demonetized on Facebook for that. And at really? the time, I had a rep at Facebook before they fired everybody. And she said, that's, she said you're, you're looking at six months. I was like, oh, I'm broke. God. You know what, Eric? Look up and see how many strikes there's no time because we don't we censor don't, anything yeah. we well, say we're going to take shit out and we, and just we never did <laughs> well you know if you look at like the hodge twins there's a lot of people yeah if you're not looking for the money from the ads like i have to do yeah you, know, you guys are all you know you got your crap together but you know if you're one dude like me you i'm making i got i gotta sell the ads yeah. but a lot of people they're not they're not you know that ads those that that's You're chuck- talking about outside revenues. Yeah, like, like Hodge Twins are selling right. out. They're take their podcast live and doing twelve hundred seat theaters. You know, yeah. do you guys are you familiar with those guys? Two black guys. Oh yeah, the Republican yeah. They're great. The conservative yeah. twins. They're great. And they're, yeah. yeah, and they're definitely not monetized because they're just dropping shit on Facebook. Oh, like yeah. you know, yeah. you can't. Say, you know, if I said it, I would be dead. Yeah. But <laughs> Facebook nowadays, if you say a word that rhymes with Trump. Yeah, I'm a I'm a diehard Republican. I hope I don't piss anybody off. But I mean, I mean, no. and I and I mean, if you're you say, in Al- hey, you're in Alabama. <laughs> nah, that's what I figured. <laughs> are, you <leaving? laughs> yeah, are, you, are you leaving Kurzweil? Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to the bidet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you got to warm it up before you get back. It's really, it's really tough to not speak. What you, it's, it sucks that you can't talk. Yeah, and it's, it's. I was telling him on the phone. Uh, it's Charlie. I said, man, it's, it's almost. Racist to be a, a believer of God. Yeah, you know, and I'm not. You know, you hear me. I'm cutting up. And yeah, of course. Up, but I am a God fearing man. Yeah. But if you say, "Oh, you're a little," I mean, you, I've had things get demonetized on that. Yeah. You know, just for saying, talk about my church or something like that. Well, I tell you, YouTube. Even for us, I've noticed like certain episodes you can watch and some episodes that we do you'll watch it'll have 13 ads in the middle of it, and then other episodes we do there won't be an ad in the whole. Yeah. Do you, episode. Do you, Jeff Allen? Do you think there's, uh, does it is it indicative of what you're saying? And, and go ahead, just, just turn his lights down. I'm gonna talk to you. No. Uh, <laughs> Come on, you, Delilah. Are there, yeah, is there a lot of <laughs> Delilah? Uh, is there a lot of cursing in that particular episode? Maybe, and the other one didn't. Maybe there's possibly. a lot of cursing in everything we do. Really? And maybe, maybe that's true. I think some of the like some of the ones we did with like Chris Hansen and some of the other ones that's yeah. not. We kind of keep it mild because of the guest. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> he's he's the uh, he's the uh, the guy that catch a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to? Um, and be with two black girls at once. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> we, 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 we got the money. Yeah. <laughs> I want a bidet. I want two black chicks. <laughs> so we do stings with Chris Hansen. You do his oh, show. Yeah, yes. we do a show out of that him. house. On on the show, out oh, of this that house, house right that you're here. staying yeah. in. So yes. there is cameras in there. So oh, golly, no, no, no there's no <laughs> cameras in there the steam, right now. Oh my god! But so you know what? Me and Hanson has been talking about doing some bringing in some celebrities. Turn into Funhouse with and, Chris Hansen, you, you know, <laughs> for, and like where you could come out and talk. You play a to slide them. whistle when he comes out. <laughs> 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 you could come out and talk to the predator after he's arrested and sitting there. Damn man, was it worth it? Hey, yeah, yeah, that's a good hey, yes. yeah, You bring man. the cookies. Yeah, you yeah. give him the cookies. You would be perfect for oh, the first yeah. one. That, well, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I've never even thought about something like that. Yeah. Is there any kind of legal ramifications? No, no, not at all. No, not they at got, all. By the time they walk in that door, they've got everything they need. <laughs> yep. It's all for the episode once they walk yeah. in. Shit. Yeah. So let me tell you something. When we do those with him, it is the most exhilarating, surreal, like, and to see it in person. so much, like, like, it's crazy to it's see sad. how this goes. It's sick. It's, yeah, of course but it we, is. It but really we're having, is, you know, and you, <laughs> what, what, you know, I mean. I look at a twenty-four-year-old. Oh, that girl's hot. Of course, but I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a human. You no, know, these whatever. are like they think they're thirteen and fifty. Yeah, yeah, God. they're showing up. To see, they're showing up to see kids. Shit, you yeah. Know? Uh, yeah. Dude, last where, time there was a seventy-year-old man show up. Yep. 
that Seven works at a damn Toyota dealership right down the road. Oh, but they're I bet they're business suffering after that. <laughs> they, they it's call, the same dealership I think that the guy pulled a gun on me at. I'm really? quite sure. I'm pretty it, uh, sure. Was they, it a, was it an employee that pulled a gun on you? Yes. Yeah. That owed me money. Hey, David's an idiot. Yeah. Hey, you, yeah. Man, I'm sticking up for money that's tell, a, tell no, this. but you you are an idiot. Yeah, yeah. You, don't you don't you tell this to Tom and <laughs> no, John. I need Tom. therapy. I need therapy, but a guy yeah. I own a landscaping company, he owed me medication. He owed me two hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> which I And he worked he was it detailer at Toyota or something? No, he just sold cars there, and I knew where he worked. I just went up to ask him if he wanted to pay me before I. But tell him what. Him. No, but tell him what mm-hmm. you did. Keep going. Keep going. I uh, showed up. At, <laughs> Why are y'all just waiting on Ben and Neve for me to tell this story? <laughs> Does it make me look that bad? Pretty like, much. Okay. Well, I just showed up at his desk, and I was like, "Hey, man, I'm not going to make a scene, but uh, I'm going to give you one last chance to pay me before I go and take you to small claims." Mm. And he goes, you know what? Follow me, motherfucker, right now. We're going ha- we're gonna to handle this right now. And I thought, well, go- I'll be damned. He's going to pay me. He goes, follow me. We're going to my car. <laughs> that was the first mistake. Me. See, right, see so, mate, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Strike one. Yeah, yeah. I've asked he, all he my black was- friends, and I mean both yeah. of them, and they all think it's <laughs> fucking crazy that I was going to f- get paid going to his car. So I follow him to his car. Yeah. And he, of course, pulls a piece out, puts it behind his back, and starts talking mad shit, dude. Starts going, man, I, you ain't ever done shit for me. And I was like, I don't know what got into him, but I looked at him, and I was like, there's cameras everywhere, and there's people shopping for cars. I was like, you chicken shit fuck. You ain't about to do nothing <laughs> to me. You ain't going to fucking go, I'll go shoot me right now. Shoot me in front of all these people. Do me <laughs> and my, my family a favor and shoot me right here in this parking lot. And man. he got so freaked out. He was like, he put it back in his car. And I was like, you done fucked up now, man. It's going to cost you your fucking well, job. Well, that's the thing. Now, I just wanted 250 bucks. Now you got tempted murder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you had a full-blown manic episode on him. You, yeah. Did you yeah. Did you go bipolar? I, mean, I did, did you, go you, crazy on him. For you know, somebody that had a gun and I didn't, I no, was just there I mean, bad attitude I was going to get out of this with. But. <laughs> was it a def- what, When you doing that, were you were were you like, this is a good defense mechanism? I'm just going to act like I'm batshit crazy. No, no you, you just something took you really did. So it you was did stu- have a manic episode. I know episode. it was stupid, A, to do it over $250 to even go to his work but I was you know and what's crazy is leaving there I almost bought a forerunner when I left because I wanted to run it <laughs> like, by the way who get the keys to this forerunner I'm like, hey, you better knock $250 off <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, my, my, bit, my bit's finished, buddy. That's yeah. just the tag I needed. Yeah. That bit is done, dude. No. Thank you. And put some of the undercoating stuff on it. <laughs> I've been trying to make this bit funny for fucking weeks, and you just oh, delivered God, the God. solid line. I want two hundred fifty dollars. It's like, what are you bipolar? Because no, but I'll buy that forerunner. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's strong. I love you. You bipolar? No, hold up. You got it in red. <laughs> <laughs> But the, but the but the moral of the story is is who follows somebody out to their car. Mm. I thought he had. We're going to take care of this right yeah. now. Right now, I'm going to give you money, motherfucker. No, that, <laughs> that wasn't a tone. I'm giving you money. I know that was nothing. Yeah. Come out here. I'm stabbing you. Yes, yeah, I got a shake or I got a gun or something. Yeah. I know in hindsight it's stupid, but at the moment I thought maybe I was intimidating <laughs> enough that this cocksucker was about to pay hey, me. Hey, from now on, you're not intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, so just you know, go ahead and go that way. Your shorts and t-shirt dressed like your 13-year-old, <laughs> well, you, I, you're not intimidating. Come to the stage now. Not. You might have seen him going bad shit crazy at Toyota of Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands together for that. Yeah, that's uh, your you know intro what? now. You know what? I am going back up there, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to be like, y'all got nothing but pedophiles and hoodlums running this damn yeah. asylum. He just gave you your new what? intro. What? I gave you intro. You Put your head together. You might, have, you, might have, you might have seen him on the 5X X5 podcast. You might have seen him at Toyota of Lua getting a fight with the black guy. <laughs> 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 or Toyota of, uh, of Birmingham. I'll keep on saying Toyota of Lua. Uh, I you know, drive a Toyota. You know I, I love them, dude. Dude, I'm, I'm like a, like a <laughs> trucker. They're great. I, I was seriously almost bought one. On the left, we'd like, like to welcome our new sponsor, Toyota of Louisville, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Southeast Christian Church. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Tom, so Tom, what you don't know is David actually just had a Here kidney transplant. <sighs> Well, how's this tiny and everything? Yeah. What, my, what I was going to say is... Both of them, one of them. Oh, I'm lucky to be alive and you're I'm lucky, operating that yeah, way. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're right. lucky to be alive and then you follow some guy out to the car who pulls a gun on you. What if that's the way I went? <laughs> Just got so you have two kidneys now. No, I have, I've got one. I got, you should start grappling. 
<laughs> they said that's the first thing they said I can't do anymore. <laughs> what? No, no more, no more. Like, you get that, you like get that MMA follow? getting hit or kicked or anything. Oh God, that's my, yeah, my kid. We're all wrestlers, and that's God. This is back in the day. Back in, I remember I got Hoist Gracie and a no Hickson. I don't even remember Hickson Whoa, Gracie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got. He said, "Get me any kind of hog. I'm behind him." And you could see in the video his. Where did you go? Going. Just traditional bear. No, I went to Brazil, man. I was a real. I'm a blue belt. In oh, the you just left so, that. Yeah. Out. Yeah, so I'm lying. I'm full of shit, man. Anyway, okay. Okay. I was like, man, I'm like, you I can't got the body of a blue belt. Right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, God. Blue belt ice cream, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, quick. Man. This son of a bitch is going on tour with uh, quick, you. <laughs> quick question. Put your head together for the light, man. I'm on the stage. Just put the light. <laughs> the light, man. All right, quick, quick question. Steve. Eight, eight and a half inches uh, soft. No, go for it. All right. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Oh, oh the, shit. The, the, Here the we cop. Go. The Don't cop. get Charlie started on this shit. Uh-huh. Steven, him. Steven Seagal. What do you think about him? Just don't answer this. Am I going to. Oh. Should I lie and say I love him? Yes. No. No, oh, really? no okay. cause, I, cause look, I, 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 I've, I've went on record. Multiple times. Actor. It's almost every episode at this I've point. I've went on record <laughs> challenging him to a charity fight. I would beat the shit. I think he would. Look at, look at him. He looks like he paints his hair on with a spoon. Did you see him? Did you say a There's spoon? a video on YouTube of him like, it's obvious. He's like, he's got one hand and the guy's like flipping over and back flipping and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's it's like so staged. It's called theatrical. Bring yeah. that back up. That's bring Tom, that back up. I'll, I'll, we got to make a Mabe meme after he sat on a day. For we got to make a meme <laughs> above it that says Charlie. I'll stomp the dog shit out of you. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a uh, and that's the number two black shoe polish on his. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. Sure. Did you say it looks like he paints it all with a spoon? Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and look, I mean, he's using he's using that just for Mennonites. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he spray paints his hair. Look at that. He does. Imagine he that. Right. Like he's been he's in Russia Sasquatch now. Ass. Doesn't he live in Russia? Does he? Full time now? They can keep him. Yeah, they can fucking have him. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> there for a minute, he was like trying to be like a... A, a citizen a, of Russia. A, a, a no, cop. No, a cop. No, in Louisiana. Louisiana. Oh, in Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah, well, and, and you know why, and we've told this story before, like a year ago on this podcast. <laughs> Do you know why that show he got canceled? Because he, trying <laughs> to be a great. badass, is- he ran a tank... Through a guy's house, <laughs> a fucking tank. You can't make this shit. Like up, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. It's on an episode. And, the, and and so that guy sued them because <laughs> and what and what? Yeah. Well, sure. And, but guess why? They were at the wrong fucking house. You're kidding me. And this stupid orangutan looking motherfucker <laughs> run a tank <laughs> through this person's house. But, What's uh, it say here? Five X, okay. X five, X five, X five. I, right. I can't hey. read the five. We need to talk to your. Hey, local Lex, guy Lex Dexy is a real thing. Lex Dexy, <laughs> <laughs> that's a dude. That's me. That made bloodlines got all this stuff going on. Dude, I'm <laughs> just, Lexia. You're I'm talking, like an idiot savant without the savant part. You, know? <laughs> you were talking about uh, your favorite video, Charlie. I have to. My favorite videos that you did were the ones where you would go into like uh, like a music store or something and. And act like you were getting on a fu- the, a fight on the oh, phone. Oh yeah, and then you the would fight desc- me. You describe, describe the guy next you to can't you. Miss me? Yeah, I got a white red hat <laughs> and I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you're yeah. talking to somebody on the phone doing that. Yeah, yeah. and that and, and we did that in Nashville. I don't know if you guys don't know Joe Denham. Joe uh, played keys. He goes out and plays with you know he tours with Blake or whoever. He's just a, he's a he's a keyboard player in Nashville. But he's also a comedian. Yeah, and uh, and uh, he said we did a show together at the Wild Horse Saloon in Nashville. Wow. And he was he and this other guy, this what's this TJ in the morning, Bobby Bones or something. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Bones. Yeah, and, and they had me come in to do stand up, and they said, "Won't you guys go out and do a video?" And there's a big old hoss. I mean, this guy looked like Junior Samples, you know, big ass son. It's like you know, remember talking? You remember? It looked like Charlie and bib overalls, beard, and long ass hair. And he had this girl with him, just like oh, and he's like, "Yeah, you can't miss me. I will have bib overalls on. I got a ponytail, and I'm with a hooker." <laughs> <laughs> and the guy goes off, and that's the last one that got me banned because it said bullying. Oh, and I and I, I appealed it first. I said I couldn't appeal it, and I figured out how to do it from a different my personal page. I don't know how it worked, but I got it back the next day. But that was scary. Wow. That happened like two weeks ago. Because oh, wow. bullying, I'm like, no, we, we weren't any. So it, you can't do anything. You know, what that's... What sucks is that creators are going to start making content around those guidelines, and it's not going to be funny anymore, dude. dude. Yeah. There's a pandemic going in the country, and it's, and it's not COVID. It's like everybody's a pussy. 
And it's yeah. like you can't say anything without like, oh, my gosh, show me on the little baby doll where the prank hurt your feelings. It's just sad. <laughs> what, what's that oh, saying? Yeah, yeah. What do people say? I love that saying. But I really – it's tough. If you look at a lot of my recent stuff on Facebook – and they're performing well, but they're safe. I'm throwing freak. We're doing these little challenges, little silly games. Like how many ping pong balls can you get in a red solo cup? Yeah. But you know, but I, oh. I gotta work. You know, so it's a, uh, it's uh, I'm afraid to do anything. The one I did one where did you show them the one where I'm singing your song? Pull that up, yeah, Eric. Oh, mm. did you see that, David? Yeah, he sent I think it to he, me. I think oh. you sent, well, you sent I, it to oh, me. Oh yeah, with the with the guy in the back. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was it. Anyway, so oh in the trunk. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I and I had to make I had to make sure that we got a Bluetooth speaker because I didn't want them to. Th- because uh, I would get banned for that. I would lose monetization. Because they thought somebody was really in the trunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. And That's so off silly. the record, someone really was in the truck. <laughs> my buddy was silent, and I'm like, God. And we were going to have it where he was going to pop out with the duct tape over his mouth and everything. Yeah. And, uh, Is that me? Hey, man, that's Cassian. Hey, man, something's going on back here. All right, guys, I got a giant Bluetooth speaker I'm going to put in my trunk. I got a recording of me on my phone screaming and beating on the trunk. Check I'll it out. the hell out, Charlie's y'all song. <laughs> hey, are you Mark? Yeah. Hey, buddy. It's going. Going good, going good. Going to the boat? Yes, sir. Right. Oh, I guess the best way. Hold on there. I this like how you didn't start it. It's perfect. The dog is crazy. What a cop that's done it. Better, 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 better. Oh, da 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 Oh, I'm sorry, am I singing? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sing it. Listen, listen. It's, it's my, it's a Charlie Reese. It's a new artist. <laughs> I just put her in a song. Hey, hey, Lava hey, shit man. sucks, Someone's but this is a good song. <laughs> 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 the, oh, that knocking? Yeah. Wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow. Yeah. 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 I thought it was a catalytic converter. And it was a... Uh, it was a. Uh, they said it was a wheel bearing. I, I tell you what, man, just time, money, trying to get every, you know, thing to get it going and stop, you know. <laughs> just rambling. <laughs> Apple chit chat. Marsupial. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. That's break squilling. No, I'm good. He said I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm, I'm, I'm out. out. I'm good. <laughs> Hey, come on. You want to keep up? I walk. I walk. Yeah. <laughs> Using Jamie so Utley's account, and uh, he's probably got a, a really bad rating now. <laughs> <laughs> Whose account? Which, Jamie you know, he's a, he's a comic. A very good comic. <laughs> I've worked with Jamie many times. Oh, God. So what you got new in the future, man, coming up? And What What do I have? Um, you put- know, I'm, I'm true. I'm really... Because my income can change at a drop of a hat. Right. And I always said, always, back when I was doing jingles, I had one, it was Tumbleweed Restaurant, and I had one advertising agency I worked with. That agency lost that account, and I had nothing. And from that day on, I said, I'll never live or die by one revenue stream. So I have a bunch of little baby revenue streams. You know, individually, they're, they're crap, but I can add them up, to, up together and pay a mortgage or whatever. Uh, and I'm fine, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, re, you know, retirement but uh uh i really like buying these i like this what this duplex looking thing over here and that your yeah. property over that's that's nice no 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 that's not mine that would i, would, I like i pulled up here with uh terry and i'm like wow oh, this is a good this'd be a good verbal right here this'd be a nice house so i'm in that lane i buy these houses you know when i when i go now you can't find them because everyone's catching on yeah. yeah and the interest rates are crazy but uh so I'm, right, right now i'm gonna buy some land my next thing i'm gonna buy a little bit of land and build maybe four houses on something nice. you know, small. Yeah. I got a builder that I work with, and he, you know, I, I can do it cheaper than most people, I think. Yeah. So that's I'm hoping if I could get you know if all uh, if you know if comedy falls or I get it's you know, in a boom right now though, dude. But, it's but big, bigger than it's ever been. Comedy is. Yeah. I've been getting called. You know, I never I don't promote myself at all. I'm a clean comedian, so I do a lot of corporate shows. Right. Uh, but uh, I really uh. I miss the the thing with me, and I don't know if this ever happened to you because I used to be with a band. We all go see a movie during the day. We, we go run together, whatever. <laughs> yep. And I, I'm going, all right, now I'm a comic. I don't have any 
body with me. Yeah, you just by yourself. And I would just always go to the hotel gym. Next thing you know, I turned it to the hotel bar. The occupational <laughs> hazards of, <laughs> of being a real comic was Incredible. really not good. Yeah. That's why you bring your bring friends out with you. Uh, and they want to get paid, and sometimes you know you you know when you are first starting out, you're driving cross country for 150 bucks, oh, wow. and that's screwing the system too. Right now, like someone says, oh, so do it for a couple hundred bucks. I said, if you find a comic to do it for 200 bucks, it's going to drive run as fast as you can because he's going to embarrass the hell out of you. But uh, yeah, I, I do miss. I have shows coming up, and I uh, I do like two clubs a year. So, oh wow! I don't. I just. I, you could I, get more work than that for sure. Well, no, no. I, mean, I don't want the work. Oh, you know, <laughs> no, no. no. I'm, I'm old and secure. No, no. I, I can't. I, I don't. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. But no, I, I can't. I, don't, I mean, I would because what's that one guy said? Most people drive 45 minutes, work eight hours. We drive eight hours, work 45 minutes. Right. Yeah. The yeah. rest of the day. You know what Jamie Ellie started doing? He started. He said, "Dude, I'm just staring at a hotel." He he downloaded the Spark app. It's for Walmart. He said, I pull up in my Corolla. They load my they load my truck up. I take a picture. I drop it off. I made 150 bucks in, in two hours. Yeah. So all this downtime, and I heard a comedian say, like, if they had this back in the day, I'd have good credit right now. Because yeah. you have all this time, you're sitting around, you know, doing whatever and not making money. Uh, and I got to get, I got to keep going, man. I got to do, I always like doing multiple things. I don't like being... You know, one complacent. Well, look, yeah, look, I don't know the word for look, it. But. Look, let me ask you this question. Sure. What What advice would you give to David? <laughs> how long it, you been doing? It, how 40, long you been doing? He's been doing it a year. He's, ten, he's, ten, it'd be It'd be a year in July. So you're having you're having some good shows, and you're having some. You, there's one club or two that you go to, you you crush all the time, right? I I've run my open mics mainly, and I get asked to be on local showcases and stuff every now. So and the then. the cool thing about that is that if you if you mess up, you you can just go. All right, we got drink specials or whatever, and uh, next week yeah. we got yeah. we got Steve O coming in or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I would say I would say you know. Don't be dirty to be funny. Yeah, I'm trying to write clean now, dude. I, really I mean, am. my my. If you if you look at my recent dry bar comedy, it's 45 minutes of squeaky clean stuff. You take a six year old, and it's, they're well written. I think it's kind of a crutch. And if you see, it is, it's something you do in the beginning, and I'm in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, you can work anywhere, and you'll always make. You could be half as funny and clean and make the money. And so I went. I knew that I wasn't going to be Chris Rock or someone like that, and. Uh, and uh, I, I said, well, I'm going to be clean because I, I got in with the speaker bureaus and that, you know, I have got special needs son, $2,000 a month for his medication. I had to work my ass off. So sure, yeah, the, the best bang for the buck for me. But if you're the next Chris Rock, don't listen to me. So I just say, I never, never uh, drinking for confidence and getting that, never do that. Do That's that. like catching your house on fire to get warm. warm. It sounds yeah. good in theory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, yeah. That's a great no, comparison dude. to it. Oh, no, and I used, to, I used to like try to get that, you know, that, that, uh, that comedy juice going, that, that liquid courage. And that tour, I didn't even drink before. I've quit bands that they would drink on stage. Yeah. I get there and all of a sudden I'm like, I have a bar next time. I'm crushing it, but I, I run that stop sign. I would have one too many. Yeah, you yeah know. for sure. So uh, the problem with uh, all the, uh, that as well is the old second show, because then you think you need liquid courage for the second show, and you go, "I've already been drinking for three dude, hours." You want to <laughs> know what? You know bad. what? I was selling out shows before. Before I couldn't follow. I couldn't follow the local DJ giving away bumper stickers and T-shirts. I had no comedy ass. I had no stage time, but I was popular because of the revenge on the telemarketers. And I and I would sit there. And one reason I would these clubs would book me, and this guy named Tom Sobel had me travel all over the place. Oh, we got you a door deal here. We got your door. I'm like, dude, I got eight minutes. Why are you why are you booking these? Oh, uh, be dude, Tom Maven friends. And people walk up. Lisa CDs are funny. I should have changed my name and just gone out and worked yeah. with a lot. But I started headlining way too soon. Like now, I mean, dude, over 20 years, I'm I'm pretty. I'm solid, you know. I'm not yeah, the best, yeah. but I'm solid. Uh, but advice, I don't know, man. Because yeah, everybody takes a different path. It seems like I've know so many people that are successful that went this way and that person went. That I would, way. I would do micro content, like like I would take if you record your like. Well, you 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 got a good solid fifteen minutes, or how long can you do? Uh, I don't know. It's relative. Tw what kind of room am I in? You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Empty chairs don't laugh, and you burn through material real right, fast, right. right? Yeah. So I would fluctuate. Uh, I would tape it, and I would put up. You know, if you have thirty, the micro content on social, I'm talking like thirty seconds. Oh, I know. It crushes. Yeah, it crushes. Uh, I would do that. You could become famous and get gigs just off social. I'm telling you, man. I'm, TV deal, record deal, no big deal. No. Not with social. 
No. Because they're they're not, you know, they're going to they'll they'll tell you if it's funny. They'll tell you if you like, you know, you can't buy your way. What's that what's that guy uh right? What's his name? Matt Matt Rife. Matt Rife. Uh, well he he hit it hard, didn't he? He was all yeah. over social for a minute. Well he went he from, figured it out. Well he went from, you know, working comedy clubs to a month later selling out arenas. I mean, yeah. it was it was that quick. Yeah, because I had, of social he, he media. He came through Louisville and the women who was reaching out to me, hey, can you uh yeah, it's all women. Can, try, can you give me tickets to Matt Rife? Oh, who's Matt Rife, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I saw. I mean, yeah. definitely quick with it and funny, you yeah. know, uh, good looking kid. So, uh, that's another thing. Really, you got to get a lot better looking. Yeah, I thought that too. <laughs> you were saying it. I was like, is he going to ignore the elephant in the room? Uh, is he going to say it? <laughs> no, I mean, man. Ignore the elephant man that's in the a, room. That's, that, <laughs> the, the, be uh, the beauty about comedy is that you could be, the, you could be ugly, you could be old. So, it's perfect for me you know you don't really age out of comedy you do comedy clubs probably but i remember you used to go love doing you know hermosa beach in california and you know ridley detroit and mm -hmm. god a lot of love peoria the jukebox and all these zanies remember i met uh, i met uh, i was doing chicago i was doing i was doing zany chicago and What's the big podcast? Uh, what's the big podcaster? Com uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, Joe. He was doing the improv, and we met at a Man Cow show. And this is before Joe talks about how he used to be a ass. He used to be a total wiener head, and he was like anti-American. You know, we never talked. We never landed the moon. And me and the lead singer from Lemonhead, we left. We left. We left. <laughs> we we're like we're out of here, man. <laughs> Where we, it was, uh, but uh. <laughs> And uh, one last story. I can, I'm sorry, I'm all. I haven't slept much, man. I, I'm really. I'm, uh, I'm jacked up on the third flu too. So uh, I was doing a show. Uh, Mark Schiff opens for Seinfeld for Jerry. He said, "Hey, man, we're in Nashville. Come down, and you know, come backstage and stuff." And at the time, I was probably a little more popular than I am now. And and uh, hung out. And he said, "Hey, man, Jerry's going home. Uh, Jerry, Jerry's going home. Won't you? Uh, won't you uh, stay in his room?" And he just had his uh, his son named Shepard, and his, uh, he had a, he had, a, he had a, so Jerry flew a masseuse down there between shows, the two shows, Jeez. and uh, flew him down on a, on a jet, private jet, and uh, and I was like, I'm in the I'm in the Lowe's Vanderbilt Theater in the hotel in Nashville, and it's like it had a hot tub, a grand piano, looked out over the city, and I I was taking Seroquel at the time for Tourette's, yeah. and then usually knocks me right out, and I still I was walking around with my little camera just videotaping everything. Yeah, of course. And like the next week, I'm in Corbin, Kentucky, a meth lab motel, and the door won't lock. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, man, there's a long way between here, and uh, so I I just got tired of doing the. Uh, the road stuff because some of them, you know, the, the some of the shows they knew how to run a show. Then you go someplace and you can't buy a laugh, and it's four people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, it's just. Uh, but the advice I would say: stay sober, and, and if you can write clean jokes, they go a lot further. Yeah, yeah. I think you were smart to uh, record, start recording everything at such an. I mean, that was before everybody did it, and yeah. you were doing that so early. And that was the, the the one that he was Charlie's talking about the the homeless with the two cops. Yeah, yeah. I just bought a little camera, you know, and mounted it in my minivan. Then I got a suction belt thing for my B and H or something. Uh, you know, sure there was candid camera and things like that, but re just documenting that stuff, yeah. man, that that definitely paid dividends down the road. How long have you been doing it? Like, how long have you been doing this? You, you like pranks and stuff? Yeah, my first first prank, I was eight years old. Uh, we had a big snowstorm in Bullock County, Kentucky, and I joke about because Bullock County schools were out for like nine years. I mean, we it was, it was just crazy. <laughs> and I remember calling my cousin in Jefferson County because they, they had money. They scraped the roads in Jefferson County, but Bullock County just a hick town. Oh, uh -huh, you got school tomorrow. He's like, oh, uh -huh, you can't read. You know? <laughs> 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 you got school. But I, uh, we had a snow. I built a snowman out in front of the house, and I've heard, I, but this is all mine. This is all real. And I've heard. People make memes out of it and such. But I built a snowman up from her house. I went to bed, woke up, someone killed it. They ran it down their truck. And I remember crying. My mom came and said, Tommy, baby, it's okay. I'll help you build another snowman. So we built another snowman, went to bed, woke up, and they ran it down again. And she's like, Tommy, why don't you build a snowman in the backyard? That way they can't like, <laughs> of course. No, mom, you can't see it. That's the whole purpose build a snowman. People can see it. They can't see it in the backyard, mom. As we go in, I, got, I built another snowman. I went to bed, and around midnight, I'm awakened by the 
crash, like a boom. <laughs> so I look outside my bedroom window. There's an old Ford pickup truck stuck in our front yard, and there's water spewing out the grill. I built a snowman top the fire hydrant. So, <laughs> oh. so that, was, that was my first prank. And then the, uh, he'll That's be, genius, uh, dude. And That's... then my brother, my cousin Johnny, and, and it warms up. It's spraying. And I, I, I got such, I was like, I was like comic with the cause. Like, you know, don't don't get mad, get made. I want to do this whole revenge guy. And this my cousin Johnny called me down. He said, Tommy, don't answer the door. I said, What are you talking about? He lived like eight houses down. He said, Don't answer the door. I said, Why? He said, They're going door to door selling stuff. I'm like, what are they selling? He said, They're selling home security systems. So ten minutes later, these my, there's two guys walking up our front porch. My brother and I, we bust out the screen door wearing a ski mask. And I'm holding a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> I look back. He's got the cat. I'm like, really? You stole the cat. <laughs> <laughs> cat burglar. Wow. So, I, so I just kept on doing it, and then I start and I start making a little money. I bought I bought cameras. You know, I started uh, my first nice camera was like a it was a Sony camera that I could plug these glasses in. I bought these glasses for, yeah. and uh, I always wanted to go test drive a car uh, that one of those buy here pay here lots where they won't they just take a uh, they just take a, a picture of a. If you type in t- test drive with extra cheese by Tom Abe, I went and test drive this car. <laughs> Bring that up. Extra cheese. Oh, God. Wait till you see the. It's old, man. You Wait till you see this. Oh, inundated this, uh, if that's even a word. It's on YouTube. Test drive. Yeah, with extra cheese, Tom Abe. Uh, <laughs> it was a. It's one of my very first pranks. And uh, if, he, uh, if he can't find it, I'll. Uh, Oh, he'll find it. He's, oh, a, he's a genius. He does he find it every time? Yeah. He's I can't wait to get oh, We can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. have no internet back there. <laughs> so We're dead. I heard that this, I heard that, oh, here. There we go. Here. How, much, how much are you asking for? Well, are you looking to pay cash? You're looking to buy your payment? I'm looking it's to find out car. what you want for the car. <laughs> <laughs> he spelled a dipstick. I'm sorry, that was me. Had a breakfast burrito. I bought these CDs with the uh, laugh Bye tracks back. on them. Come on, Mike. Yo, Bob. Bring them back. Come on back. You got it. You got it. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Wish me luck. The, the idea is better than the actual video, but watch this. So I come back like an hour later. And I'm dressed like this pizza delivery oh guy. <laughs> In the car? Two yeah. hours later. Two hours okay. God, this, I like this, it. <laughs> I'm not convinced. I'd like to test drive it again. Let me look at my work schedule. Tuesday and Wednesday. Yo, Bob. Maybe Thursday noon to four thirty. I could maybe test drive it again. He's pissed. First shift. He go gets his boss. You, oh. make, you take our car. Put a pizza sign on it and deliver pizzas in it. No, it's test drive. I may buy it. Man, if I could test drive go. it again. Just go. If I, could, I work from like 4 o'clock. Just go. Thursday. Just go. Just go. Just go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> These are such great ideas. <laughs> well, yeah, I look so at it good. now. and uh, Jackass owes you a lot of gr- Dude, you know who really stole a lot from me was Debbie Libling and the boys. Uh, and I, I, I went out to do chemo with... Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, she's from Kentucky, the band that I manage, I put together for a video. And I was like, I didn't want to go in the play, but he wasn't there. She was sitting in for it. But the man show, so they told me they were stealing my stuff. Yeah. I did one, uh, uh, it's called Flying Blind. And I, I went, I, I dressed up like an airline pilot. And I think I was 20. You can look at the video. It's like, you know, years and years ago. And, uh, and I recorded and didn't upload it to YouTube until years later. And I'm just like, a, I'm a blind pilot. And uh, walking and to I'm, the airport, and I'm getting drunk at the bar. But I was like, "Hey, man, I took some Nyquil earlier, and it says do not operate heavy machinery." Anybody know how much a 747 weighs? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, the next, and the next thing, I was sitting. They kept them flying me back out to back and forth uh, to uh, the Comedy Central. And and they kept on just picking my brain. I thought they're gonna give me a show, they're gonna give me a show. And they just kept on using my shit. And, my, oh, and, no. I, wow. and I had an agent as an endeavor at the time, now it's William Morris Endeavor. And he said, just, you know, just write them. He said, and my and a buddy of mine out there, he said, Tommy, you fart one time in Hollywood, they call you stinky for 10 years. So just don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I just had to bite my lip. And I saw I saw Carell. He knows who I am. I mean, and he knows they use my shit. I said, hey man, I saw he came to Kentucky to do a podcast, live podcast oh, at the wow. Comedy Off-Broadway in Lexington. And, uh, and I said, hey, man, you talked to Debbie Libby? 
He said, no, I haven't seen her. And he just kept on walking and he knew exactly who it was. Uh, so, but, but Jack, yeah, you know, we all were, I've tell you, I've written, I've written jokes that I've never said on stage that no one's even looked at my notebook and I hear someone do it. There's a lot of parallel thinking out sure. there. It yeah. definitely happens. Yeah. Definitely happens. So, uh, and I, and it just, you know, every, everybody rips. I mean, that fight me prank, that's been done. I've made so many kids rich. There's kids, there's kids making 500000 a month, you know, just off silly stuff they're just stealing from everybody. Yeah. And they're good looking. And they're young, you know. I just want to just like, you know, keep the lights on. I just, I wish I did. Well, there's a lot of content creators out there that get rich off just stealing other people's videos. Yeah. I, I mean, there's, if, if there's, if you, I'm, this is going to sound arrogant as hell. If you see a great prank out there, I wrote it. Yeah. I don't care who did it. Because, mean, <laughs> right. I mean, I write my ass off. That's all I do. Yeah. And uh, they're very, the one, there's one I never, I didn't write, and I wish I'd written uh, so damn good, was when, uh, and I worked with this guy too, uh, Jamie Kennedy. Yeah. He, he has, hey, he's a lifeguard. He blows his side. I got to take a bathroom break. Everybody out to be right. I got to take a bathroom break. And he walks out. He, the he pool. walks in the pool. I'm like, yeah. damn, I wish I would have read that. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Oh, and then, and then, and then the, uh, the escalator one where, uh, did y'all see the elevator? I, mean, I got, I got a gazillion. I keep starting thinking about this stuff, but I'll go through and recycle these pranks and put them up again. Yeah, you, you know, should. Yeah, I do. I do a lot of that because they sometimes will do better the second or third time. Yeah, you know the one that I did where I gave him a shout out uh, last. I, I don't. Can you see the view count on that one we just saw, Terry? Is that because uh, it should be a lot more go, than what it is? Yeah, Six hundred views. No, the the one with the where I'm the, the Uber driver thing. Yeah, the, go, go to go to face. That's face. But yeah, no worries. But I, I think I looked at last. I looked at like ninety thousand. That should be that should be a couple million by now because it's a it's a fine prank, you know. Yeah. And hopefully in the next couple of days, but. Uh, Dude, I never paid attention. I looked at my YouTube yesterday, and I they they've been paying me like a hundred dollars a month, and I don't know what for. I guess just stuff. I guess Stephen Adler's where a lot of the views come from. Send it from. back, huh? Send it back to him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I'll be sure to do that. Sunday right here. Yeah, they meant, yeah. said that's wrong person. Yeah, they've been. They meant to send that to David Lemon, not David Lyman. <laughs> yeah, 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 Lemon. Right. All right, y'all want to get some advice calls in? Let's see. I'm ready. I think you're going to give the best advice of anybody. Yeah. Four one two. The number four advice. Four one two four advice. Call in. Leave us a message. It can be about anything you want, and we can play right here on the show. And whoever our guest is that particular episode, we'll get to answer it. This is good stuff. Here we go. We got some in the chamber. Let's get our first advice question. Um, yes, this is uh, Will Moat from uh, Coleman, Alabama. I was uh, struggling with uh, something, and I was just kind of seeing this. Maybe you guys could offer some advice. I was just wondering, how do you pick which sock to put on the right foot and the left foot when you open yeah. a pair of socks? I mean, I've been <laughs> struggling with this for a while, so really hoping that you can kind of offer up some advice. Thanks. What's his name again? Wilmo. I think he said Wilmo. Your name is Wilmo? First thing, David, is you got uh, Wilmo? His name's yeah. Wilmo? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. First no, no. For the this Freud, sounds like a David question. That's, that's, yeah, yeah. that's that Freudian <laughs> slip right there. First thing, that first thing, change your name. Second thing, <laughs> uh, I, I would go ahead. I'm sure you qualify for some kind of government aid, and I would take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't even pick what sock goes on what foot. I just grab a sock. Which, which foot do you go first? Uh, left. No, hold on. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, Let me right. think about this for a second. I go right. First. None of my match. Wait, you do, do you go sock, sock, shoe, shoe? Or sock, shoe, sock, shoe? Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. I do the shoes first. Yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> then the socks over the Socks outside. are difficult, but All we right. got the shoes on. Well, I would tell you, did you guys see the movie with... Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. anyway, they said that it's <laughs> He's got a, ADD like me. You know, My brain's right no, there. It's a, socks are a design flaw. <laughs> yeah. If you want to have a comfortable sock, turn it inside out. Yeah, we don't what are you talking about. They're more comfortable oh, yeah, they're, inside they're more out. Comfortable inside out. Yeah, I never thought about it. And you never really care about the way they look because you got shoes on, unless you're going to the airport. <laughs> and then you have to take your shoes off. <laughs> I can't. Just, I think I'm random on which foot I put the sock. I think on. I'm, I'm thinking about that too. Me, me as well. And I'm left. Every I'm ambidextrous. Yeah, I was gonna say ambidextrous socks. I normally yeah. put mine on at the same time. You put them on at the same time. Yeah. I jump in them. <laughs> jump in them. I have some. Charlie's like I put mine on just like y'all do, except I make a lot of money once my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know the difference between the way I put my socks in. <laughs> oh no, let me call. Let me call my butler and ask. I put mine just like you do. If you've got a butler that puts it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that's terrible. And I'm usually checking email when she's putting them on me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I never paid attention. I'm making money while they're being put on. Oh, yeah. yeah God, All right. 412 for advice. Our second question. Hey, this is AJ in Birmingham. Um, I do hey, uh, stand up comedy hey, at open mics and host a little bar show. I love it, oh, but I have you. a decent job. Um, I've made some good friends in Birmingham. Um, I'm, uh, you know, questioning. I always said I wanted to try and do stand up full time. So I'm questioning, uh, should I try and move to New York City and just do it? <laughs> Or uh, would I be better off just uh, staying in Birmingham? Um, I like the people here. Um, what do you guys think? Ooh. If you want to climb a mountain, you got to go to the mountain. And That's Birmingham right. is not really the entertainment capital of the world. So he sounds young. I wonder how old the guy is. Probably 20s? Yeah, he's in his 20s. Yeah. I know him. I know Good him. kid in his 20s, yeah. Is he, does he have any raw talent? Yeah, he's actually he in the last couple of months he's hit a hot streak. He's gotten really Yeah, he fun. needs to go to New York then. I mean I mean, come on, what are you going to, it's like my my daughter. Yeah, he's not married too. He's like single. He could just take off and I, all my friends, Keith Alberstadt, all these guys they they went up there and I should next thing you know they're on Letterman, you yeah. know. So I would definitely, definitely do that. My my daughter told me, she said, Dad, I'm I don't know about I'm gonna be like almost thirty by the time I become a doctor. I said, you're going to be 30 anyway. You want to be a 30 year old doctor or a 30 year old? <laughs> Whatever know? professor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a till then anyway. Yeah, so, uh, I, yeah, Dag, uh, the guy there. I would AJ. AJ, I would, AJ, I tell you what, man, if, if uh, David's saying you got some natural skills, have you seen him, Cassio? I have. He's, he's, he he's a skills. good writer, yeah. Good writer. And a good stage presence and everything. Yeah. yeah. He's and, in and, our he, next showcase next week. Is he, is he in his 20s? Yes, he is. Yeah. I would definitely, most definitely. He should move. Should he yeah, go to, you should, climb a mountain. Go to, go to the mountain. Should he go to New York? Should, should he go to New York or Austin? The, 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 a lot Austin. of them go, well, you know, a lot. Yeah, that's a good question. A lot of people did. Well, you speak, you go to New York, right. then you go to L.A. Right. Like Jerry did. Seinfeld would go. He there and he made the, he said he just knew when it was time yeah. to, 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 my opening act has been a ton of movies and he, he's from Louisville and Marty Polio. And when you, if you saw him, you go, oh, that, yeah, he was a regular in night court and everything. And he just, he got a girl pregnant and moved back and yeah, I mean, he's a great headliner, but he just, I'm in the middle. I need the work, and if I'm middle, I get a, I get a ton of work. So he's been touring with me about 15 years. Wow! Yeah. wow. Uh, but yeah, but he's he's so damn good. Um, but he went. He knew. He said, "I knew it was time to go." And he went out there, and I say, "No, we were all seeing." He, he was he was on Carson and Leno like 20 times. He was the most Carson, com- one of the top Carson comics. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that's insane. Yeah, AJ, Just go, go. go to New York. The worst he can do is come back. So go. Yeah, that's yeah, what I tell everybody. Go. 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 Yeah, if New York, and you can, it's easier to be gay in New York too. Don't worry about it. Here, I know you got a house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because yeah. boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, if gay's your way. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Four one two four advice. We got one more. Jason from Tullahoma, Tennessee. Love the podcast. My question Thanks, buddy. is between the text yeah, messaging bro. or the Facebook messaging or whatever messenger app. I was always used to picking up the phone and calling someone. Some people dig it one way. Some people like it the other. What's your advice on it? Oh. Depends on who it is. Some people I don't like talking to. Some people yeah. <laughs> I'd much rather message. And other people I'm annoyed when they mess me instead of just calling me. So it depends on that person. Interesting. Yeah. I hate when they text you 10 times and you go, and then they call you. Dude, I didn't want to. I didn't want to text you. you think Why'd I you want to talk to you? That? Why'd you want <laughs> to do all that? <laughs> I uh, yeah. My son with both my kids. My my daughter went to an OCD clinic for uh, four months in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, and my son went for seven weeks. And they both have. My son, since we've been here, I bet I've gotten five texts from him. Call me, call me, call me. And it's like to uh, OCD or what someone like really OCD. I'm not talking like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm talking about checking the door a thousand times a night. You know? Diagnosis. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's crazy yeah. stuff. Uh, it's like holding your breath until you get that call back. And I remember back when I used to date, you know, before I got married. So that's been months ago. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but I, I, re- I remember that I was like holding my breath until they call me back. And I'm like, oh, how's, yeah, how's it? Uh, you know, I, I remember this agent went and called me back in California and I kept a bug in the office. Or something, and it turned out he was, uh, they said he was in a bad car wreck. And I remember, the, oh, I'm like, Thank God, I thought he's mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, much better than him. Yeah. But but with, that's that's when it gets the texting. That's when it gets. Oh, and here, 
I don't. I mean, you got. We're talking about this today. This guy keeps on. They, you know, they, they see you. They see. They see you got some views, and they. Everybody thinks I'm. You know, I'm. I'm. I got more than I have. You know, and people think it's okay to ask me for money, and they'll keep on. Oh, I guess you're too good to answer my emails. I'm like, and I finally got, dude. I don't even know who the hell you are, which tells right, me that yeah. you don't went through all your family members asking for cash. You've yeah. asked all your friends, and now you're asking to some stranger. Shit, give me well, some look, money. We uh, apologize for Jeff Allen doing that. But look, <laughs> I got you on the show. I'm like, yeah. dude. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get you in here, dude. Yeah. 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 I have to tell you, he owes me $250. And, I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> I'm and, to- and he sells Toyota. So <laughs> what about you? You prefer text or calls? Charlie, uh, you're a texter. Like, I'm a text. no. He'll no, fa- you know, well, he'll, 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 he'll Facetime me. Like he, oh, he's, yeah, yeah he's Facetime me. I, I, like my with my friends, mm-hmm. a, a call or Facetime. Yeah, everybody else, I'd rather just text. He just blocks their number, you know, pretty much. Oh, yeah. I, I have to tell both my kids. I'm, you know what? If it, if it's, if it's, if it's an emergency, you know. Call a neighbor and have him run over. But I'm, I'm blo- I got to block you now because I got to sleep. Last night I had to block my son because I had your to get son. A- you had to block, him. <laughs> dude. He, I kid you not, he's like one block. He's one text away from a restraining order. I mean, <laughs> Can you imagine filing that on your son. <laughs> like, no, it says OCD. Yeah. And then he just calls it, and I won't answer. He's like, I'm taking an Uber over there. I'm taking an Uber over there because he doesn't drive. Right. And uh, bless his heart. I mean, it's really a – and what sucks about it is, like, I had a god-awful childhood because I was the same kid. And now it's like I'm reliving the same damn childhood You know again. how he feels. And, and then shit. my dad ran off my head. I never, I never had a father. My mom raised three of us by herself. She was a musician and a drunk. And mm-hmm. it just – you know, just all the, all the crap, you know, and I try to be – Oh, and now all the crap that makes you a great comedian. Maybe, yeah, I'm a weird person. But uh, I try to. I, I like. I didn't have anyone around. I think as a. I think as a dad, my job sometimes is be a dick. You know, my wife was like, "Okay, well, that's probably okay." I'm like, "No, it's not okay." She's like, "I got trauma." I said, "Your trauma. Your ceiling to trauma is my floor." Right. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you and mom fought. I said, "We fought under ten times in thirty something years." Well, I mean, we don't fight. Yeah. God, the cops showed up. My mom had her various boyfriends at the house and shit. You know, God, you don't even know what. Tra- <laughs> Three o'clock, she come home and pissed at her boyfriend at a bar. She picked, drag you out of bed by your hair. I told you to do these fucking dishes. I mean, that's like. <laughs> That, that's, that's still the shit not you trauma. grew up with. And that's still not trauma. That's just an alcoholic mom who was, you know, schizophrenic or whatever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't affected me at all. <laughs> <laughs> <He's switching laughs> his <dick> off. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm awfully ticky today. I'm sorry for the people at home. They thought I had a stroke earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it's a podcast. There's, you know, we got YouTube watchers, but okay, yeah. a lot of people are listening. So they don't we see got a lot of takes. YouTubers. Ooh. Well, man, uh, your weirdness has turned into one of our favorite podcasts, brother. Oh, it is, man, uh, it's been right. fun. I'm hurting. I am too, man. I was not prepared for this much. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Too. Tell them where they can find everything, Tom, Mabe. It's uh, it's in the nightstand drawer next to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mabe and America. It may need to be charged. Uh, they're <laughs> God, that's terrible. Oh, you got to recharge uh, Mabe and America. Uh, that's from my wife, not mine. Uh, <laughs> Facebook, Tom Mabe Comedy, or Mabe in America. And Mabe is like Abe Lincoln with an M, Mabe. Mabe. <laughs> and TomMabe.com, if you like to bump me, I do clean comedy and shit. So. Clean <laughs> 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 yeah, comedy and heard. shit, everybody. <laughs> I am squeaky clean. I'm nice I'm photo. Look at him. He's all Oh, golly. Which shit. came first, that or the 78 Corolla? Look at that. That's a, <laughs> God, look at that. That's a, that's a recent headshot. <laughs> we got that today. <laughs> That's his, when he turned 25 right there. His yeah. insurance went down that's that his, day. Yeah, that's his Tinder profile pic right that's there. That's right there. Yeah, that's fine. That was God. yesterday. This is after he's had his ass washed by the day. He's disheveled. He that's don't give the, a crap anymore. Uh, that's the uh, God bidet photo shoot right there. <laughs> is, that your funeral, is that your funeral suit? Uh, I did. That's from my CD. I did a CD called Tom A. Blab at Carnegie Pool Hall. And I it was like Steph Carnegie Hall, <laughs> Carnegie and, that, and, and I was at a pool hall, and that way we got a, a hundred, hundreds of pictures. You know when you do a photo shoot, how it yeah, goes, and, yeah. and uh, had lot me uh, uh, in a pool hall. So that's from that shoot from the last, from one of the one of the last CDs. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, that thanks. was yeah, that's that's two two thousand seventeen probably. Right after you found the bobcat in your backyard. Mm. <laughs>
the what? The bobcat? You found a bobcat? Oh in yeah, your that's yeah, that's a vacation. Yeah, yeah, the little uh, where the kids they're out back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a, 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 a mountain lion. Mountain lion. That's a mountain lion. Have you seen that one? No. He had a real mountain lion. And, uh, we had a place in Colorado, and uh, the, we wake up and our two our two cats. There was a mountain lion on her back <laughs> on our back Shit. porch. And Mountie, my wife, I'm out there. I'm f- videotaping. Mountie goes, "Where are the kids?" I said, "They're out back." Tommy, get away from me! She started pacing. Yeah. Boy, that thing, that thing was a little nudie. That's a little, that's a little video that could. Yeah, yeah, boy. Some of them just will. We go. do. I do morning radio. We talk. It was like everywhere. We talked about it on the show. God, that's and that and that weird. Man finds mountain lion. I was like, well, it's Tom May, but it's not just a man. It's, yeah. I mean, I knew who you were. I was you know, like, because but, I I never had the skills to. I was telling him, he's like, man, I want to top. I'm gonna bring you down. I'm like, dude, trust me. After 20 minutes, you're like, is Tom leaving yet? A little, <laughs> a little bit of me goes a long way, and I was so glad when I could start doing my own filming and yeah and putting on social media and you know and i could if i was if i could, you could read a room if you're if you're a little you know if you feel like you can yeah. leave and you can't do that stuff with network and everything boy I, they anyway but that that <laughs> uh, I, I like pizza <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't eaten today. Are we going lunch now? Yeah, yeah actually, yes, we are. Yes, We're going to wrap God. up, and I'm taking you guys to go eat. Let's and you're, go. You're out of potato chips over there. Oh, uh, that's all right. <laughs> you, you, you were full when I got there. <laughs> oh my All right, gosh. guys, make sure y'all tune in next week. Thank you, Tom, for being here with us. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank and you for coming. Yeah, thanks next so week, much. Right? This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. See you guys later.